Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'm bringing you today's video. Just had a few things I wanted to go over real fast. First, our usual shout out of appreciation to all of our patrons out there. We appreciate all those tips and support. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos that we put out for you guys exclusively every single week, including the How to Deal Craps instructional set that is ongoing. And uh, if you're curious about it, go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And also I wanted to go over we have uh, we've had a couple of questions about the uh, about this uh, little neon light thing that we've been uh, putting on some of our other uh, some of our other videos. So if anybody's interested in one of these, just shoot us an email at sincitylivinglv at gmail .com. And uh, so I did another test of our live stream, another attempt to do the live stream. So I now know that I have the right equipment, the right camera the right uh, programming, able to get all of that done. Unfortunately, what I did discover is that my computer was not strong enough, was not powerful enough to be able to encode and upload it as an actual live stream. So I'm gonna continue tweaking with that, although it may turn out that I'm just gonna have to wait until I can afford to buy a new or more powerful computer for that. Uh, so that will be on the list. Um, so. It does look like live streaming may not be as upcoming as I was hoping. It's going to take a little bit of time to generate that up. And uh, otherwise, please make sure you email us with any uh, questions, strategies, anything you would like us to video. We love shooting these videos for you guys. If not, I'm going to go straight into today's video. So for today's video, I want to go over an email that was sent to us. As you guys know, we love shooting the, these videos. It's actually one of my favorite things to shoot is when you guys send us emails. So thank you very, very much for sending it to us. And uh, let's open it up and take a look at it. So this one looks like it comes from Paul. And uh, it says it's a strategy he likes to play. It's nothing too, uh, it says it's nothing too complex or, or new. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, pretty simple. Regardless of what the point may be, let's just roll something random here. Uh, we'll do an eight. Okay, so regardless of what the point may be, looks like he does 110 inside. Okay, 110 inside. Very common bet. In fact, the other day I was playing, and I was playing on a super, super low bankroll. It was kind of an impromptu trip with a bunch of friends. And since I had such a small bankroll, I was starting out with the, uh, with the inside as well before building up my bets. And uh, okay, so starts with 110 inside, and he keeps it relatively basic. Now, before I even even read the next line that I'm going to go over, I could make a guess that this was probably going to be a regression strategy. Uh, typically, unless I see somebody buy in with a with a decent sized bankroll of 1,500, 2,000, or more, when I see the greens hit the table as the very first initial bet. This usually tells me that they're planning on regressing because the thing about the green bets, at the absolute smallest, even if you have the, the uh, final two numbers, the four and 10, at its absolute smallest, this is gonna pay $35, worst case scenario per number. So when we look at these inside numbers, being the ones that pay the least amount, because uh, the four and 10 would pay you $49 each, you're looking at, at within a couple of hits, having collected enough money to be able to afford to regress down and have all the numbers while still having made a little bit of money. So typically when I see the greens hit the table right away, this tells me that they're probably only looking to hit a couple of times, um, especially based off of what they do on the very first hit. So from what Paul says, the very first hit, he's going to collect all right, now if I see greens hit the table and it immediately starts out with a same bet, that, that, that definitely tells me 99% of the time this is going to be a regression strategy because if the greens hit the table and there's not at least some minor mid-press thing, uh, 5 and 9 to 35 or 6 and 8 to 42 or full presses, then they're probably trying to bank enough to be able to, to go across. And that's exactly what Paul is doing. He wants to hit twice. And then he wants to take all of his bets down. These numbers right here, this covers half of all possible rolls of the dice. It covers 18 out of the 36 combinations of the dice. Now, six of the combos of the dice are going to wipe this out. So this covers 18 of the 30 non-losing rolls of the dice. So this is probably going to happen within two two, three rolls of the dice. I would say worst case scenario, looking at four rolls. But it could very well... and 
very often happen that two rolls, the first two rolls of the dice gets you your $70 and you go ahead and bring yourself down. So that's, that's where what would hurt this strategy would be 0.7 outs. 0.7 outs are gonna cost you $110. A point, a hit and a seven out is going to, going to cost you uh, $75. So at that point, if you take a worst case hit, it's gonna take quite a few hits. Just like any other strategy, it's gonna take quite a few hits in order to build back just to, to the break even point. So um, from here, after he takes everything down, yep, he goes to 66 inside. So he takes his 70 profit retains 40 of that profit. So he's still got his 110 that he initially did, plus, or not 40, four. He collects his $4, and then he goes to 66 inside. Now what's he do with the 66 inside? So taking a look at it, he is, okay, relatively basic. Here's what he is shooting for. He's trying to get all of the numbers, but by the same token, he's also trying to get to green. So if either one of these hit, he is going to press it up to $30. So if an $18 six hits, we'll pay it 26 for five, press up to 30, and he's gonna collect $9. Same thing with if an eight were to hit. Now, if a five were to hit, he's going to do it a little bit different. He still wants to go to the greens, right? He's going to collect $11, but he's not going to use this $11. He's going to, or I'm sorry, he's not going to collect it. He's going to use it. If he's on a $10 minimum bet table, he's going to use 10, all $10 to get a four. If he's on a $15 minimum bet table, then he'll throw in the $4 that he had made earlier and bring him and get a $15 for him. Whatever it's going to take. Same thing if a nine hits. So he is trying to get to all of the numbers. He's trying to get to all of the numbers while at the same time pressing things up. If, an, if a six or an eight hits, he's just gonna bring himself up to $30. So he only collects nine bucks from the 18 to 30 press. So he doesn't have enough to give himself a $10 for 10 if he's on a $10 table. Definitely doesn't have enough to get a $15 one if he's on a $15 table. So he uses the five and nine because he collects a little bit more money on those. Makes sense, I get that. Once he has all of the numbers, once he is across, at that point, he does whatever strikes his fancy. Uh, he's, he may do mid presses, he may do power presses, whatever it, whatever it is he wants to do. So, let's say the nine were to hit, throws in his four dollars to give himself that 10. So what kind of things might he do from here? Well, you could of course go to the press one unit kind of thing, but since you've already done some jumps, two unit jumps, going from 18 to 30 on the six and eight, and from 15 to 25 on the five and nine, you're probably not a press one unit kind of player. You're a little bit more aggressive than that. While not being a full blown, if you're, if you're doing regression strategies, you're really not a full blown power presser. So I wouldn't revert to the power press at this point. I would actually stick to a mid press type of progression. And you can double, you can go back through and you can watch our video on the mid press betting progression so you get an idea of, of what you bring your bets up to. But they're relatively simple. From the six, you're gonna go up to 42. You would collect $23. You just go up to 42. And then from 42, you're gonna go up to 60. And then from 60, you have a number of different options. You can go up to 90, I would go up to 90 myself, or you can go up to 72 and then go to 90. So you can kind of add a little mid-step in there, collect a little bit more money versus uh, putting $30 from the 60 going up to a 90. Um, and you're still collecting, you're just not collecting as much. And then from 90, you can either go to 120 or 150, depending on what you want to do. From 150, you can go to 180 or 210, again, depending on what you want to do. And uh, you know, if you go for the smaller, that's just a mid-step, and then the next time around, you're gonna go for the other one. And then from 210, you're probably gonna go up to 300. And at that point on these, you're just gonna do straight presses, three, six, 300, 600, 1200, 2400, 4800, so on and so forth. For the five and nine, 
from 25, I would go to 35 or 36, I might throw in a dollar. Then from there, go to 50, and then 75, and then 125. You can throw a middle, middle, uh, middle bet in there of $100, and then go to 125. And then from 125, you have a number of different options there. From 125, you can go up to 200, you can go up to, uh, to 300, you can go up to 250. Ultimately, you're probably gonna try and shoot for 300, even if you put a one or two steps in between it. And then from 300, you go to 500, and then you're in the straight press again. 500 to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000, 2,000 to 4,000, so on and so forth. The four and 10, you're gonna take that $15 straight up to a quarter. You're gonna collect, uh, let's see, that's gonna, that right there, depending on where you're at, is either gonna pay you 27 or $29. So you're gonna collect either 17 or $19. So you're gonna go to a quarter, then from a quarter, generally with the four and 10, you just do straight presses at that point. From 25 to 50, to 100, to 200, to 400. And there you, you kind of put a mid stop in there. Instead of 400 to 800, you go from 400 to 500. But you can also go from 200 straight to 500 without having to throw more money in. You will collect up enough money. You'll get paid enough money to go from 200 to 500. But you can put a middle one in there, 300, 400, whatever you may, may choose to do. But you want to try and get to 500, because once you get to 500, then the VIG is very easy to calculate. It's $25 per 500. And you're in very, very easy bets for the dealers to be able to pay very, very fast. And they're simple bets. They're small. They look good. Not small, but they don't stand up real tall on the tables, if that makes sense. It's, it's going to be real low. You don't like these, you don't want these Hours built up, 500 to 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. Again, you're just in the straight press method. So uh, it's it's a good strategy. It really is. Like like a lot of regression strategies, it's got the weak, the primary weakness of of uh, how long it'll take to rebuild if you hit a worst case scenario. But that applies to almost every single strategy out there. Um, so. Yeah, this is, this is the type of strategy that, aside from some, some worst case scenarios hitting you back to back, this is the kind of strategy that, oh, on a decent bankroll, you can play this for quite some time. It's, it's a good strategy for having fun at the tables, having a good time, socializing, drinking, and just enjoying the game. Because you've got moves almost every single roll, so you're doing something with your bets. That's what's exciting, that's what's fun. Press this, press that, give me that number, so on and so forth. That's what makes this game exciting. So this could definitely be a strategy that would be a lot of fun to play. I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or just plain fun. Thank you very much, Paul, for sending it to us. We appreciate all of you guys out there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Okay, guys, so as I promised at the end of the videos, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the live stream and how it's going to work. So. The first thing is if you're interested in being one of the players for our craps tournaments, um, which is we're going to have every single week, um, please email us at sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. I need the email addresses so and know, want to know who is interested so that we can get it set up and we can select it. I'm going to have the first round is going to be 16 players. There will be four players per week. The fifth week is going to be the four champions from the previous weeks to get an ultimate champion. I haven't decided yet what the prize will be. Maybe I'll see if I can pick up another one of these lights. And, but we'll have some sort of prize for our, uh, um, for our champion. Um, so please, if you're interested, email us. I, I want to pick the first eight players, the first two weeks worth of players, so that uh, we'll have the first four ready for the first week. And the other four will be kind of backup, just in case somebody has connection issues or something comes up and they're not able to play that week, then I've got the other players on standby so I can just bump one of them up or maybe shift the first person down or something, something along those lines. Um, the main tournament is going to be Thursdays at 6 o'clock, uh, my time, Las Vegas time, 6 p.m. Las Vegas time. And it's, uh, the way it's going to work is it's going to be a time thing. I'm going to do the live stream for an hour. I'm going to do the game for an hour, rather. And uh, it might work out to about 30 rolls, might work out to about 40 rolls. I'm not too sure. We'll see how it goes. But it's going to be time. It's going to be an hour. Instead of uh, the craps tournaments that they do down on the strip where it's 30 rolls, we're going to do an hour. So I want to make sure I have a finite time limit for this to start with. And then we will go from there. I'm going to find a way, either a Discord or a Zoom or a private chat room, some way for the players to be logged into something where I can communicate with them on my second computer 
so that they can tell me what their bets are, what they want to bet, what they want to press when something hits without me having to scroll through the full chat of the live stream itself. I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on that. And if we have enough people watching and chatting, it could be difficult to keep an eye. So I have to figure that part out. Another reason I need the emails so I can communicate back and forth with the potential players. So if you're interested, again, please email me. Um, eventually, just pretty much everybody's going to have an opportunity to be in on these things because we're going to do multiple ones. I'm also looking at probably doing a second uh, craps tournament, maybe late Wednesday nights, um, possibly, I'm not sure, where I'm going to do it a little bit different. The second one is going to be instead of one hour and then whoever's got the most chips is the winner. Because those craps tournaments tend to have really weird strategies. They're not normal strategies, strategies that you'd see in normal play because you're competing against other players and you, you just want to make sure you have more chips than them by the end. What I'm going to do with the second tournament is instead of a weekly winner, we're going to play for an hour and then I'll keep track of how much uh, money people still have on their, or how many chips they still have. And then the next week, same players are going to keep going. Basically, this, this game will go until the bankrolls end, until we have one person with money left um, or chips left. Again, there's no money involved in this. So um, once, uh, um, once we have one final winner, so people will drop out as their, as their uh, play money bankrolls expire, as they, as they run, out of, uh, run out of chips. Um, so that one, I'm, I'm guessing we'll see some more normal strategies, the kind of things people actually play when they're, when they're actually playing craps. And then eventually we're going to add uh, Baccarat, Pi Gao, um, three card poker, um, blackjack, of course, to, uh, to these tournaments, whatever we can to these live streams and live stream tournaments, whatever we can, when we can, as best we can. We're going to have to figure it out as we go. We have a lot of time constraints between me working full time plus a child, um, but we're going to do the best we can. We're, we're very, very excited to, to uh, have this going. And we also will try and pick a day or time where I can do a patron exclusive tournament or two. We'll see. We'll see how many, uh, how many of our patrons are interested. And, uh, and see if we can't get that going as well where it's, where it's only on the patron site. Um, so definitely stay tuned, guys. Please, if you're interested in playing in one of the, uh, one of the tournaments or partaking in, in our live streams, aside from just the chat, obviously it's a live stream. Please watch, chat with us, let us know how it's going or what you think. And uh, um, otherwise, please, again, email us, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Otherwise, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Any suggestions, please hit us up. Thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate every single one of you guys, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.